Hey there, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and today I get to review the Marvel Legends Iron Man Silver Centurion. Iron Man, I can't believe I could get my hands on this guy. He was a Walgreens exclusive. I stopped by one whole time, they had it, and after that I never saw it again. So I'm so glad I actually picked it up. And those of you who have been with the channel since the beginning, one of my very first videos was how much I wanted a Marvel Legends version of the Silver Centurion. How many red and gold variants of the same figure do we need before we get the crimson and silver of my favorite Iron Man suit of all time? And we finally, finally get our hands on him. And of course, comes with a ton of accessories. Look at that cool Iron Man. I'm gonna cut that out ASAP. I really like how that looks. On the side, you get some of that sweet, sweet Marvel Legends side box art. He's got the repulsor blast and bam. Man, he looks so cool. I love this. This is awesome. One of my very first number one comics was the West Coast Avengers, where you see the Silver Centurion armor blasting off uh, with Hawkeye and Mockingbird, Wonder Man, Tigra. This is uh, this is just such a cool suit. I love this. Uh, Tony Stark. Here I go trying to read upside down again. Jets back from obscurity in Silver Centurion's armor. A breathtaking technological achievement equipped with a beam, a uh, unibeam force field and rapid fire pulse bolts. Yeah, that's a lot, man, that was a big description. Yeah, obscurity means, uh, well, just read some old Iron Man. You'll figure it out. He had a uh, he had a rough time back then. Yeah, Iron Man didn't used to be this uh, Robert Downey Jr. stand in where he just was cool, calm, and collected all the time. No, Iron Man was like a C-list character and they, they gave him this suit upgrade. And yeah, he's gone through a couple. And with the suit upgrade, that actually became part of his character, was constantly changing suits. So this was the first big upgrade he had in the comics. And yeah, I know the one that he built in a box or with a box full of scraps in a cave was his first, but hear me out. Once he got his own standalone title, he didn't really change from the classic, uh, I'll turn this box up. He didn't really change from that first set. He was in Tales of Suspense as like the big gold and then the big silver. The Mark 1 and 2 of course. How am I going to get this guy out? What is this back piece? What? What is this? Why is it? Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Wow. I had to really rip into that thing. I see. It's like a, it's like a little background. Okay. Did I rip into it? Nope. We're good. Maybe I can repurpose this. This is pretty cool. Boom. So I guess if you want to take like a background picture, I might use this as the thumbnail. I don't know. Looks cool. You can see on the side, I think that's Ultron. And then that's Vision. Clearly, uh, could give you a better look. There's Ultron and there's Vision. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. That's, I don't know if there's any Easter eggs that people noticed about that. I know this is an older review, but I for sure had no idea about that. Take a couple of these accessories out. We got the punch and power. We got the repulsor blast. We got the standard Marvel boost effects. And then we got the man himself. Get out of here, plastic. And uh, yeah, he's looking pretty pretty rough he's got he's got some dents on him that's for sure but this was the only one they had so i'm happy with what i got now this body that they're using is the 80th anniversary body and we've seen it before through another walgreens exclusive the 2020 iron man truly the most evil iron man of all time uh and yeah it's the same body other than this top piece which i believe is yeah, this top part with the shoulders and everything, that is a brand new piece. So this was a floating piece. As you can see, it comes off if you peel back on it, but it can go back. This, that's just, that's it. That's what it is. And shoulder pads are built on to the actual arm. That way it actually doesn't get inhibited by the pad. 
So I really appreciate that. Really cool. And then you can twist at the bicep, which is pretty sweet. Uh, one thing they did differently, and I'll show you, is with this new top piece. Here it's a uh, peg and uh, hinge. Now on this one, oh, there we go. It is a double ball peg, which leaves a lot of gap when you're trying to adjust the head. I mean, that, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel that very much. I, I prefer the peg and the ball as opposed to the double ball peg. You put the head back on and then you have them, let's say you want them looking up. Well, look at the huge amount of gap in that neck. You kind of got to like lean them forward and then give them kind of a weird look in the back. I don't know. I've re I really dislike the double ball peg. They really messed it up here. Not a fan. And then there's like a little scrape right there on the plastic and I might be able to kind of scrape that off if I have a knife or something, but that's, that's rough. The paint on this is very rough. I'll be able to kind of clean it up with a silver paint pen, at least on the face a little bit, but yeah, that, this whole body here got, got pretty beat up, which is a, which is a shame. A couple things, I really wish they had panel lined a little bit of it, and I know that that's a thing that's probably not going to come back is the panel lining, but look at all the detail. There's so much detail on this and you miss out on quite a bit of it. Uh, the plastic, it's unpainted, but it's got kind of a, like a shimmer to it where if the light hits it just right, it kind of gets like a pinkish purple hue to it. I dig that. That's a really nice effect. Uh, the silver, if they had done the silver in the same way that they did the, uh, like, look at that. Same body. But if they'd painted the silver, I think it would have come across a little bit better. It almost looks translucent. It's just not... It reminds, it reminds me of Silver Surfer, but not painted. Here. Let's put your head back on. That one. But this 80th really got a lot of use out of it. Getting... And each one of these has like a really unique red to it, which I like a lot. Let's check out these accessories. So his hands, his feet, they both have the, uh, the blast effects. One thing I wish it had that the 80th, or no, that the 2020 and War Machine had is that smoke effect where it acts as like a stand as well. Man, those things are so good because you can put War Machine and Iron Man in the back and they still get featured. You know, if you put them on the shelf, you might lose track of them. But I really wish they'd included those. These we've seen a thousand times. During the uh, Top 10 Most Wanted Marvel Legends video, which I think as of right now, the only character that they haven't made is Tigra. They've redone every other character I've asked for. So Tigra, you're next. And then that'll round out my West Coast Avengers. I'll have Mockingbird, you know, the whole team, the whole first team. I know Wanda and Vision, they get added later, but you know, I can put Moon Knight, Gwenpool, whole bunch. That's going to be an exciting day. Finally finish that up. You know, this, this body's not bad. It's, it's, you know, they keep using it for a reason and it's really great, but I just, I, there could have been so much more done with this guy and I'm, I'm not super crazy the for the fact that i had the chance to get one you know if i if i had to do it again i probably i don't know if i'd go aftermarket you know ebay but man that head sculpt is beat up all the way around there's no like really good look at it plus i think the arc reactor right here i think that is actually the wrong shape here let's put something here yeah, that, that looks different. Did he revamp the Silver Centurion that I don't know about? Let me know. Uh, for this, I'm going to give it like three out of five. Huge, huge uh, miss. Really could have been better. For all the stuff that came with Arno, 
they just kind of phoned it in with a lot of these accessories. But you know, I'm happy to I'm happy to get them. But yeah, Walgreens exclusive that you see once in stores is rough. Yeah, they'll never go away. But that's gonna be my main complaint for basically the rest of time. So uh, yeah, exclusives suck. I'll leave it at that. So with that, thank you for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what was your last store exclusive. Which one did you buy? Did you buy it online? Did you buy it in store? Did you buy it on eBay where people resell? You wouldn't do that. Yeah, you would. Because I've done it. Because we got to get our hands on it somehow. And if the stores don't provide it, we got to go elsewhere. Which kind of defeats the purpose, you know? So with that, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.